What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another box break. Today we're actually breaking two boxes for our good friend and patron, Ty. Um, Ty has probably been with us probably close to the beginning. Uh, and he said he was itching for a break and opted for not just a Paldea Evolve, but also a Scarlet and Violet base box break. So we have one of each boxes, and we'll kind of see which one does better. And I quickly asked them, you know, was he hoping to pull with each? He said the Magikarp for the Paldea Evolved, and then probably for lack of a better Pokemon option to chase, I went with the Full Art Miriam. And uh, we opened a number of boxes of Scarlet Violets and opened one for a video of Paldea Evolved, and then I opened one off camera. The first box on camera, we pulled the uh, Tyranitar, which I was really happy with. Definitely one of the ones I wanted. But then for the <clears throat> second box, I think we got a regular Den Full Art Dendra, which was kind of cool, but um, that's definitely the lesser of the three. So we're going to go back and forth, see which one does better. And we'll start with Paldea Evolve. Best of luck, Ty, and appreciate you allowing us to do this break on your behalf. And because we have a lot of packs to open, we are just going to go straight to the back. Right, Grusha, Litleo into a Lokix. And um, yeah, we're going to try to keep this video not too long as we are opening a bunch of packs. And so first, Scarlet Violet Base, we don't have nothing crazy. So yeah, hope you all are doing well. And uh, yeah, how are you feeling about this new era of Pokemon so far? We got a bunch of T-Tars. Not the, uh, these are not the T-Tars you are looking for. Yeah, what do you think of the new era? Obviously, it has just begun. And I do feel like typically they don't start off super quick. Um, you know, they're kind of pushing the the basic stuff, you know, the, the starters, the, the the legendaries and stuff like that. And, you know, obviously we do have a lot of alt arts, but, you know, I imagine in the next handful of sets... Ooh, all right, here's a nice pack. We got a Quaxel alt art so our first alt art of the video the duck starter into a clog sire so the new quag sire let's grab some actually let's check on the centering on you i do think i like the idea of getting graded uh, all the starters in all of its forms of the alt arts but like since we're very early on in this era it would surprise me very little if like let's just say let's say down the line you know all oh, the starters have you know th those are worth having graded but you know if if this one from the second set isn't the most sought after one by the end of the scarlet Island era so i definitely think they're worth considering we'll put that one in penny sleeve i feel like it looked pretty good and back to the base set nothing so nothing on the scarlet violet base yet base yet But yeah, what are your what are your opinions on the new era thus far i feel like it's kind of um you know nothing too crazy yet uh but i think like the the 151 i think that's going to be i'm really excited about that you know i think ooh, all right we got a some kind of gold card and energy the weird thing about like this new era of collecting like gold cards are kind of um it's like, all right, yeah, gold card, we'll take it, but uh, it's not an alt art, you know, and it never is. And I know sometimes, like, they're, they're like the shinies, and some of them look cool, but uh, it's I find it ironic. Like, the gold is, especially if that's going to be your, your, your one or two secret rares you get, is nothing to get too excited about. I feel like the top is maybe thinner. Uh, and, like, energies, I'm not sure how, how uh, you know, good of a target they are to be graded to begin with. Let's see, you are a SV1. Right, so you're on the side of life. I'm trying to remember what pack I opened. All right, so one solid hit on each side, but uh, definitely, definitely looking for a bit more. A Fletchender, then a Palmet. All right, so just some stuff incoming on the channel. I've been meaning to do a mail day, but I don't want it to be like a two minute video. Uh, so I've been just letting the stuff coming in build up. And then I just, over the weekend, I kind of just like 
All right, let me just do, the thing I like to do right now is just do a eBay search, auctions ending soonest for Pokemon CGC because I still feel like CGC grading yields, you know, doesn't yield as much value compared to PSA. And I think I've never confirmed, but at some point, another video series I want to do is, all right, here's a bunch of PSA slabs that I want to get regraded or CGC where I'm considering cracking the case open and resending them in. And I do think, I'm going to guess that CGC 9.5 has a very solid chance of getting a PSA 10. And like the CGC 995s or 9.5 specifically or higher, um, just are just cost like sometimes significantly less than the PSA 10 equivalent. So um, I just, I see a card that, hey, look, this is nice. Sometimes it's Japanese, but they're usually some kind of alt art. And I think it's something, I think it's the equivalent of a PSA 10 as far as the, um, the condition of the card so i think that those are worth picking up for sometimes it's just like you know what i think is the cost of grading and you know then you kind of have a potentially gem mint card uh for like sometimes a fraction of the price so anyway long story short i picked up a bunch over the weekend and uh, once those come in we'll do a nice um kind of like mail day i skipped the card but obviously it wasn't anything crazy for Iden. So yeah, I feel like these guys are kind of going the route of, you know, Zaishi and Zamazenta. They're, they're cool, but, you know, there's going to be so many versions of them. And, you know, it's just kind of dilute. Same, I feel like the same thing happened with Eternatus. And, um, you know, to be honest, I, I'm surprised the birds, the alternate, the new versions of the birds, didn't do... I feel like they're not super popular, um, but I kind of like them. I like the look of them. Uh, but yeah, I feel like just like the market, I guess, didn't respond as enthusiastically as I would have expected. Sorry, I think we got something. I think we get a good look. We got a rare candy. Oh, what the? <laughs> I thought we had something. All right, so pretty slow. We got a few three hits on the Paldea Evolve side. One secret rare energy on the Scarlet Violet base. All right, in this one, we have a Great Tusk EX in your SV1. Trying to think if I like how it's just SV and number. It's kind of like a simplified, you know, uh, scheme versus whatever they did before was like the first letter, first two letters, and then the first letter of the second word. <clears throat> but it makes it it makes it easy for, for the, the purposes of this video. All right, we got a gold card that looks like a Meow Scarda to me. All right, we got the gold Meow Scarda. So two, I'm gonna call them gold cards. One was energy, one of them is a Pokemon. So not bad, but we are definitely looking for those alt arts. I think the Meow Scarda, is that the one where it's like in a tree? I think that would have looked pretty good. But either way, solid hit right there. Again, any of the starters, I feel like the centering is not great. We see a little bit of edge wear towards the top, although it's kind of hard to tell. That's more of an angle thing. You can kind of see it right there. Uh, centering left and right is not perfect. So we're gonna put it into a perfect fit sleeve. That way we can still look at it down the line. But pretty solid hit right there. Meow Scarter was the starter I picked for my Scarlet Violet run. I feel like the game was good, wasn't uh, wasn't wowed by any means. Nothing in this pack. And uh, in case the patrons uh, missed it, we are doing another PSA submission sometime in July. I am requesting that all cards make it to me by end of June. And for posterity's sake, down the line, I suppose I can specify that of uh, 2023. But yeah, we're going to do... Um, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but I'm going to do not only just the cards, but um, probably do some packs, maybe some jumbo cards. I know there have been some interest um i have like a stack but i didn't really have like sleeves for them so the condition could be probably hard to weed out like all right, is this a good one uh but i think there are some good good um ones to consider i'm trying to ooh, all right we got something i think there was like a rushy ram charizard i think that was a kind of like a jumbo card then we got the uh like the gold versions of them all right we got a squavit so you can kind of see a little squirrel Pokemon on the couch. 
I like it when the they are just you know just chilling in whatever environment um, and sometimes like the picture is like really small of them I like it but obviously not the most sought after Pokemon although it is a pretty cool cute looking card let's take a look at the centering I am a little concerned about like from certain angles you can see the edge where it's not like fully like a nick on the card so I'm not sure how that will impact the grading but definitely I think the centering is not perfect and so far of the two uh, Paldea boxes of all boxes we opened like one of them I feel like the centering that we did on camera the centering was solid but then my second box the centering was significantly off which is always a little frustrating and I find it more often than not like it's that initial wave maybe just like the quality control not as much up to snuff and then later on things get better uh, always a little frustrating especially when to be honest like a majority of the boxes I buy is just at release for pre-order prices and stuff like that so we got a regular EX Meow Scarred actually is this a EX is it the gold version yes it is all right so then we got a regular so this seems to be the cat box Definitely Paldea Evolve is outpacing Scarlet Violet Base. We got two hits on the right side. That is pretty lackluster. So another interesting thing going on the market. I know that someone mentioned that there's a SM Pratt video that kind of talks about this situation. But um, just the Japanese prices of everything is just crazy and like now i'm like kicking myself oh why didn't i get more of these or open more of these boxes or keep more of these boxes sealed of the japanese stuff and to be honest like i feel like a couple of years ago i always felt that it's like i just feel like the english variants will just be more sought after and now it seems very much the inverse uh of recent especially although one i do wish of course i always wish i picked up more screens more poncho more mario pikachu cards but um and i have sold some in the past few years but like the prices are just like skyrocketing it's so weird uh, and uh yeah so i find it interesting and then obviously i think just japanese culture just like embraces like the waifu thing probably a lot more than in for like the english variants and like i guess i can understand that but just like yeah the, the prices are, are just crazy so yeah if, if what are if you've noticed some other things on Japanese side just are skyrocketing price even the so for like hidden baits or ultra shiny GX in the Japanese I did pick up like a lot of the uh, singles so I have a bunch of Charizards and like for the longest time I was like all right well the English variant is just more sought after but then it's actually inverse now uh, and I feel like that's happened over the last couple months so very confusing to be honest and again, I know there are some videos that talk about it. I will have to check those out. But uh, if you notice the same thing, let me know. Miriam, reverse. Is that good? Maybe this something? All right, we got a Bayonet EX. And this is SV1, from, judging from the Miriam. Um, Bayonet, I feel like he always looks the same. I don't remember which uh, set there was some Bayonets. Maybe it was, um, maybe it was Hidden Fates. I think I'm pretty sure it was a Bayonet just yeah he doesn't do much i feel like there's only so many poses he can do so the card never pops all right let's keep going what do we have two alts arts all right here's a third what we got a rookie d oh there's a bunch of them that's pretty cute i think uh is this is the set with the riolu one of the cards i picked up or was, was considering was a alt art riolu that's very cute looking solid centering god yeah edgeware on the top is i'm not sure if it's edgeware just like at the very top you can see it from certain angles it is quite concerning all right two packs remaining of each for the first stack and yeah we're gonna try to speed it up even more than we were already doing so all right nothing there But yeah, very excited for the 151. I think on Pokey Beach they just announced like the English like products. So there's gonna be like ETB is usually like the big one, and then there's a bunch of miscellaneous products. 
but I'm trying to think like I know I think some stores like Walmart you can still get like celebration stuff in the form of like Lance's Charizard so I have to imagine that this set is going to be huge but it'll also be available for a long time to come maybe not all variants of the product but in some form and I, I'm going to try to figure out if there's a way I can get Japanese boxes um, yeah just like the Japanese stuff just is very well but I think it's you know everyone is aware of it now so it's not like you know, I don't think it's necessarily to continue for recent, more newer sets and stuff like that. And I, I struggled to find a vendor. I think like with the Nagaba promos, like first I was just going to skip it all together. And then I decided to buy some packs and the vendor is like, oh, I'll ship them to you when I can. And I was like, all right, just if you, um, if you can't ship it in the next week or so, just refund me. And um and I think the same thing, I'm not sure, I sent messages to some sellers for the singles, like, oh, I'll just buy a set because someone told me that they're probably searchable with like a flashlight or something. Uh, and the, they just don't respond. So I presume like if I put an order, they'll be like, you know, I'll send it to you when I can. And to be honest, it just seems a little sketchy. So I don't have any Nagabas. And to be honest, I feel like the Pikachu really fell flat and maybe evolutions are more exciting but maybe this is just like a FOMO hype thing and maybe things will die down after a little bit. We got a Tinglu EX. Tinglu is a very strange Pokemon. What is that thing on its head? There's like just like a bowl on top of his head. But definitely still the Paldea Evolve side is very much outpacing Scarlet Violet. And there's gonna be a nice Miriam surprise for Scarlet Violet base incoming. Shop it into all right we got a pretty cool not the most exciting pokemon but i do like this alt art kind of just in a desert with the starry sky and i do i feel like i do remember this oh oh gosh iron tread and great tusk okay so i think he's like the modern version and then he's the advanced version i think he has that whole future thing was found it very strange right, let's take a look at you Edition. and this is SV1 all right so the hits are starting to come out for Scarlet Violet base and I think we pulled a lot of these <laughs> great tusk guys or iron treads and I think this one's center is not great in this sleeve Yeah, sometimes the packs can be just so loaded with with technically like double secret rare although like secret rares come like a very like, what does that even mean at this point Ooh, what are you just like the samurai guy so the pawn yard into uh blade i don't remember pawn, uh, b sharp i think into king gambit i do like it when they get like an evolution down the line and that looks pretty cool like this is this is a shogun pokemon like he uh he has his whole army in front of him I like that. Where well, a lot of people agree, I'm not sure. But I think that is pretty cool. With solid centering as well. That is a cool card. All right, all darts are flowing. All right, I think uh, they're about easing and we'll try to make the last pack be Paldea Evolved. I am more excited for that magic card. Nothing in that pack, and piles are really starting to get out of control. Make some more space. At least I remember to put like a box next to me to drop all the all the uh, pack wrappers. Sometimes it's just like a mess after I'm done making a video because I don't do it as often as I once did. So just like the prep and setting up, just skip some steps sometimes. Let's see how long is this video? 20 minutes already. All right, let's speed up. It's taking a while. Professor's research. But yeah, and also just a, a note, like obviously Kraken Packs is tons of fun, but kind of like once you scratch that itch, but there's still cards you want to get, especially if it's not like the, the top one through five, 
Like, you can pick up so many of the alt arts for, like, like surprisingly cheap. And, yeah, sometimes boxes just really, really don't give you the cards you're looking for, even though you get a lot of hits. Um, but it's just not, you know, you don't get your money's worth necessarily. So, you know, I think nowadays you can check pretty quickly. You don't have to wait too long. Um, ooh, okay. This is actually one of the cards that I think this really pops. Um, the Arcanine EX. I think by those red things it is, obviously it's like the, what are they called? It's the, the thing where they change type. I, I'm blanking on the, thing, the term that they use. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's that, that uh, form. I feel like thought I thought the top border may be thicker, but actually I think this looks pretty good. Let's look at it like this. Maybe the top ever so slightly, but I think this looks great. And this card really pops. This and the Gyarados would be, as far as Pokemon go, uh, the ones that I am looking for or would like to pull. So I'm very happy with that hit. Congrats. Not the Miriam, but that card pops. I feel like there's just some times where, where the background and the color scheme just work. And I think that's a great example. What do we got here? Ooh, we did get a Dendra, the water fountain. I think there's three forms of this. I pulled like the base variety, I suppose. And I don't know, I think um, like the first opening I saw was like a, like a Darium's channel kind of thing. And they said like, oh, this was like the Japanese chase card. Uh, so we did pull it. I don't know the water fountain dendra <laughs> is that is that what we're calling this and those the top that is concerning like actually you can kind of see it from a lot of angles too uh so and the centering is not great i feel like the top and right is significant um so kind of unfortunate on the condition of the card i have to imagine that's uh I, I didn't check before the video, but I, think, I imagine she's pretty high up there. So, I feel like two monstrous packs right there. On what, in my opinion, some of the best the sets have to offer. So, congrats on that one. What are you? I, you do not look familiar. Some kind of tree with some plums? Plum tree Pokemon? They are getting quite, uh, quite out there. Especially with the, the plant ones, I find that. The key. Ooh, ooh, is this the Mio Scarlet I was talking about? Ah, it's the Floragato. Yeah, I think I think maybe it's the whole line. Dude. Oh, I do like it when you get a pack like this. Although, what is this Pokemon? This is what I'm talking about. Some of the plant Pokemon. <laughs> like it's like a snail plant thing. I feel like they're just making them uh, some kind of <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. But yeah, obviously center is not great. But hey, it's a full art variety. Uh, this one, you know, I always look at kind of how they do the coloring of the background and what the color of the Pokemon is. That one's not bad, but not great. I don't remember what it was. I think it was the Crocodile EX full art. That one really popped. And, oh, God, that Edgeware. That's so, that's very frustrating. We'll put you in one of these. All right. Definitely second half of the boxes is performing much better and I don't know, to be honest, I wasn't I was a little worried but had faith that the box would come through or definitely improve I feel like I know in um was like Sun and Moon every once in a while I just got destroyed by a box I think one time it was uh the set, the set with like Genesec I mean it was like Celestial Storm or something like that I just all I got was like two full art Genesex of as far as full art secret rare um, that like that rarity level I didn't get a single secret rare all I got was two Genesex full arts and that was just devastating and I feel like that of the limited box I've opened <laughs> new tentacle is so weird but I kind of like it of this new era I feel like that's less likely it's happening less now all right another bayonet I suppose this is kind of a different pose but it is the base rarity nice stack on each side at this point and definitely did not was have not been counting but I feel like there is more on the left hey Nimona oh you know what I think you know I I feel like they definitely know what they're doing sometimes when there is a supporter but not necessarily the full set of alt arts 
and I say with a high level of confidence, not 100%, but there's a bunch of Nimona alt arts that are soon to come. And not, not I'm not crazy about when they do that, but hey, you know, if they want to try to balance the popularity of all the sets and stuff like that, right, I guess that makes sense. Chunk? Oh, yeah, Chunk. Chunk, I think he has like a promo for something. All right, winding down the video. This is a pretty long video, and I feel like we went pretty fast. I didn't really go through any of the commons. But yeah, once again, Ty, thank you for sponsoring this video. I feel like thus far, what is this? What is this? It looks like a pepper plant uh, where the peppers have faces and they can breathe fire. I think they're just getting a little weird. Ooh, that's slow, bro. It's not bad. I like the art style. All right, maybe I have to just like disregard the state of the piles, even though you can't see them. I'm trying to keep some semblance of avoiding complete chaos. The NACL Pokemon, the salt Pokemon, we'll call it. This Pikachu, you know, the art is not bad. I think um, just like the electricity coming out really makes this card work, even for a base rarity. So I do like how they did the EXs. Yard into Indeedy. Ooh, another pile of cards over to the side. All right. I still find this like double reverse slot. Still getting used to that. I think the border I've doesn't bother me as much anymore. Like I notice it, but it doesn't bother me. But the uh, I keep forgetting like oh, there's one more reverse. Although I think the hits are always in the second. And then the rare slots. Wiglet. Oh, that Pokemon is weird. <laughs> Ooh, there's that King Gambit. I like King Gambit. Of the new uh, new gen, King Gambit might be among the coolest ones. Just that that alt art was that just cool. I don't remember. I don't know what you call a like a Japanese samurai army, but then the Shogun Shogunets. No, I don't know. What, but that that one's cool. It's nice. Um, nod to Japanese culture. Professor's research. Baroom. <laughs> okay. And then the Oscar. Okay, well we got like two or three of each set left. Let's get a couple more hits. Like this thing. It's just tumbleweed. <laughs> that guy's pretty cool. Alright, three of each. Let's go three Scarlet Violet base into three. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, gosh. I, it looked like the Magic card, but I was, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I'm opening Sword and Shield base or Scarlet Violet base. Raiden's pretty cool looking. The Clauncher. I like it. It's very off centered. It's almost like maybe it's worth going for the OC, although I would lean towards no. Oh man, that, that really juked me out for a, for like a brief moment in my head. Like, wait a minute, this is the wrong set, but it looks like it. Torkoal, not bad, not bad. Ah, Penny. I found Penny very strange as a character, but just like, I think I didn't read like all the conversations. A lot of it was kind of I don't know, a little like corny and stuff and they didn't actually say much uh, but I found her character not to be my favorite and then like for someone that ends up being significant uh, I feel like the center is not bad is there like some kind of like streak down the middle I uh, will put this in a penny sleeve I can't remember off the top of my head how many different variants of a penny there are but um, yeah, it's worth considering I can send pictures uh, Ty if you want to see it down the line all right, so we got another full art supporter, not the one we are looking for, but maybe there is a small waifu tax for a penny. Although I'm going to guess that that's also one that could have more printings down the line. We are finishing this Scarlet Violet base box with a scary spider. All right, we got three packs of Paldea Evolved remaining. All right, let's get another card with some water in the background. Oh, I 
think a waterfall, and then we'll be golden. But yeah, that, that fake out really got me. Slow King, or a base rarity, another one that that works. This art works with the the I don't know card frame style. So I think that's a positive. You know, I'm, I I don't know how much like effort. Um, but like it's not just all right just create the exes i don't care what they look like they're, they're they're base rarity but you know they still work they still look cool and i think that's a good sign compared to what was it all oh, like tag team support i think those are the worst like the base form of the tag team and it's just like just just uh you know microsoft paint this thing just take a picture of one of them random background move with the other one in place and boom you're good all right last pack we got a who are you? I don't know. A nice Shinx into a Hariyama. All right, let's do quick hit count check first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not bad. A secret rare energy always is always notable, um, but nothing crazy. All right, you know I feel like this is a pretty strong box. You know we did get a female <laughs> full support full art supporter. I, I really like this card. I think it pops. This thing is so cool. Um, I'm going to probably have a couple copies of this guy eventually in multiple languages. And actually, uh, for some of the stuff, like uh, the, the cards I picked up, we'll, we'll go through it later, but um, start branching out to other languages. Just like, because like the 20, the celebration set, like the the other language, I think they just looked cooler. Like the Japanese, I like think Chinese, and then they're in Thai too. So I picked up different languages. I'm going to have like, trilingual charizard and base set starters and stuff like that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so pretty good results if you ask me and that was just okay that was just okay dendra very nice and yeah, you're a starter all right notable hits we got the alt art cats a very nice dendra quality control a little bit up for discussion meow scarda gold another starter so pretty good results i feel like of the probably of all boxes um ah maybe i still put more value on that tyrantar thing looks great uh but definitely was stronger than the box i opened off camera so congrats ty and a huge thank you to you for sponsoring this opening and um yeah, huge shout out to all the patrons. If you want to support the channel, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.